So now we move on to part E, and we need to check the uncertainty principle. So last time we found that the standard deviation of x is equal to this, the standard deviation of momentum is equal to this, and this w over here is defined as the square root of a divided by 1 plus y square, where y is defined as 2h bar a2 divided by m. And now we need to check the uncertainty principle. That means we need to check that this product over here must be larger than or equal to h bar divided by 2. So calculating this directly, you can see that we have 1 over 2w multiplied by h bar the square root of a. And then now we're going to substitute in this expression over here. Since this is 1 over w, the 1 plus y square goes back up, and the a goes down to the denominator. And then we have h bar square root of a. And obviously these cancel out, so we have the square root of 1 plus y squared divided by 2 times h bar. And then 1 plus y squared is always larger than or equal to 1, right? Because y squared is always uh, larger than 0, so this is always a positive number. So you have 1 plus a positive number. So of course this whole term must always be larger than or equal to 1. So instead of writing 1 plus y squared, I can write this as larger than the square root of 1 divided by 2 h bar. So of course square root of 1, that's just equal to 1. So you get h bar divided by 2. So you see that it is indeed the case that the product of the standard deviation is always larger than or equal to h bar divided by 2. So the uncertainty principle is indeed true.